Hey folks, so boy, it's been a uh, doozy of a month, eh? Just adjust that. Okay. Um, I don't quite remember exactly where I left off with this PS Vita. I think it was in parts, and I was saying something about getting parts in the mail. Anyway, I ended up putting it back together. I ripped the uh, rest of the front plate off. I uh, remember it was like just all completely cracked and I don't know, it looked like it had water damage. Well, the problem was that someone had already tried removing the touch screen without removing the LCD, and they had separated the two layers of the LCD itself. And so that's what you're looking at here, just the lower half of the LCD. There's a few layers that are missing. Also, they went ahead and did me the favor of ripping the uh, touch screen off entirely. Uh, so when I removed it, I did it the violent way. And then I spent two hours cleaning up adhesive on this thing. But I think we determined that it works. It's just beat to hell. And I got a new LCD here. LCD, excuse me. Uh, or I guess technically it's an OLED, but whatever. You know what I mean. Um, I do have some concerns because I did just get this in the mail, but the hair there. This, I don't... I don't think that's supposed to be like that, but you can see it's separated there. Um, so this thing might be DOA, uh, but I'm thinking worst case scenario, I just have no touch screen. Less than ideal, but as you know, I, I'd rather something work, you know? It's, it's certainly better than what I got now. So let's see if we can't get that going. I can't remember how to take this thing apart. Now, um, I did order two new joysticks as well. They have not arrived yet. I should probably wait for those, but that's not too bad. And yes, I know those aren't the right screws, but they fit perfectly fine. They're just the wrong color. The original screws were like, really rusted and corroded and gross, like these ones, but quite a bit worse. You can see. Or maybe not because the camera's not focusing, but you get the idea. Oops. And hopefully this thing is charged. I may or may not have left it on. It's kind of hard to tell when there's no screen. I did physically clean this thing, but it's still pretty gross. Well, not gross, but really not in great shape. Now begins the long task of just taking everything apart. I've actually got something pretty cool for this Vita too. That I think I might have to wait until I get the um, the joysticks to install. But maybe I can play with it now. I still absolutely love that the screws inside this thing are color-coded. That's such a cool move on Sony's part. The blue ones go in these steel brackets, and the pink ones go straight in the motherboard. Alright, can 
never remember if the screw under that thing needs to come out. This thing is T4? No, it's smaller than that. T3? Good lord. T2. That's it. These screws are just finger tight, thankfully. Because I put them in, not because they're like that from the factory. I think that's, that's it. Oops. Need to undo all these ribbons. And if you can hear that dripping noise in the background, I apologize. My sink has developed a leak, or a drip rather. I think we need that screw. This is like the only different screw. There it goes. Gotta take this side out. To this stupid little camera right here. Okay. So that comes off there. And these little thermal pads I should probably transfer over. But I'll do that later. I gotta take that off because of the two sticks. Good god, that looks good though. Holy shit. Okay. Well, let's try it out, I guess. Let's make sure it works before I get too much further with this. I don't want to bother sticking that adhesive down if it's broken. So I'm just going to replace it again anyway.
And I'm not going to put all the screws in, just a handful of them. Just enough to try it out. Why isn't this thing getting seated? So we gotta do the top first, that's why. Now, I never actually tested the joysticks. I should have, but instead I just ordered replacements. Um, if anyone knows where to get new, uh, just the top part, the part that the thumb touches, I'd be interested in finding out. Because that might be all I need. I couldn't find any. in there. What the fuck? Alright. One more ribbon and I think we're good to go to test it. That's enough. Put the shoulder buttons in because what the hell. That's great. Let's try it out. We don't need the. Um, we'll call it the 3G card, the WAN card. It'll throw an error on boot, but whatever. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Ooh, and I got a touch screen. Very nice. And oh, the mobile network. I was probably on too old a firmware for that. That could have been disastrous. Let's try a game. Excuse me just a moment. Where the heck are my PSVs?
Okay, apparently I need to pause because I don't remember where I put my Vita games. I'll be right back. I think games was a uh, exaggeration. Game singular. Start and select buttons are like completely sunken in the case because the uh, shell is not actually together. Oops. Oh well. We just want to test out the buttons anyhow. Doesn't really matter which game. Yeah, this left stick has seen better days. Hopefully it still works though. I don't have a save game. Oh my god, I do have a save game. Man. Okay, so yeah, clearly my right joystick is not working at all. Surprisingly, my left joystick seems to work just fine. And I just, I don't think my D-pad does anything in this game. But, well, that works. Cool. Let's finish putting it together, then. Actually, you know what? Let's take a break, because the camera's going to make me take a break anyway. I'll be back in a minute. All right. I haven't actually checked yet, but it did occur to me that the reason my uh, right joystick might not be working is because I probably just never even plugged it in. Oh, and the one thing I didn't test was the, uh, oh, besides the D-pad, the um, rear touchpad, but I don't really, I don't have a game to test that with. Not right now. Okay, I need to take this apart again a little bit because I want to put these uh, thermal pads in. Okay. Uh-oh, I did plug it in. Maybe I didn't plug it in all the way. You know, can I put this stuff in from the front? That would make my life so much easier. No, not really. This thing doesn't really want to come up. Okay, I'm not going to force it. It'll only take me a few minutes to take it apart again. Whereas it'll take another few weeks to get another screen if I mess it up. The D-pad itself, of course, or the, not D-pad, the, um, the thingy, the joystick could be bad. I never actually tested it.
isn't this coming up? What did I forget? Oh, nothing. There it goes. Luckily, these things come with adhesive pre-applied. It's not going to help you much if you kind of miss your mark, but oh well, close enough. Ultimately, new pads would probably be best, but work with what you got. The design of the PS Vita basically makes it so the LCD, or the OLED, is a... Uh, well, it's not the heat sink, but it definitely acts as a heat sink. So putting those in is definitely recommended. Okay, these pads are um, they're just ground tape pads. They're not necessary whatsoever, but I figure Sony put them there, so it's probably a good reason for that. And I think that's all we need to transfer over. Oh shoot. I think... I don't know if I was supposed to put that whole thing through, or if I was supposed to put it through on the top one. Oh well. I think this will be fine. Feels fully inserted. So hopefully that's that.
Okay. Make one more bracket. And I can put the WAN card in. And then I think we're done. Alright, so I do have another thing I want to install in this Vita, in particular, which is actually going to end up replacing this WAN card. But I'm not going to do it now, because I want to... I want to make sure the rest of it's working first. Um, and plus, it's not going to work without custom firmware, and this Vita does not have any yet. So few steps away on that one. But we'll come back to it eventually. Where did I put the back? There it is. Oh, I'm forgetting two screws. One. Got a lot of plans for this Vita, actually. Step by each. That was kind of weird. But it went together anyway. one is I guess this one I like to put the nicer looking screws on the outside but they're all pretty rough out again. Mm -hmm. 
Well, touchscreen still works. That's a good sign. And imagine actually listening to that warning and consulting a doctor at this time. Probably laugh you out of the building. For context, in the off chance you're watching this video many, many, many months or even years after I upload it. I'm making a reference to that thing that no YouTuber seems to want to talk about right now, but those YouTubers are running ads and I'm not, so fuck them. Uh, the coronavirus pandemic. Oh wait, no, I don't want new game. No, I don't want to overwrite this. I want to load game. Yep, oh, still nothing. I'm sure it's plugged in, so I just need to get the other joystick. Or play games that don't use the uh, joysticks. Which I suppose you can kind of play Jack and Daxter. It'd be really tough in some places. Because when you're moving, the camera doesn't spin. But, eh, it's alright. Oh, well, there we are. I never tested the shoulder buttons. I don't think the touchpad does anything. Except it did make my UI come up. Okay, well, there's that. Good enough for now until I get the new joysticks. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you want to stop, you're not missing anything, but I do want to say a couple words. I am probably going to take a break from YouTube for indefinitely. Um, I got a few more things trickling in that I'll try and do videos on when I get the time, but, you know, that's... If I get the time, uh, I'm sure you all know what's going on. Um, I'll just say this. It's very stressful for everyone involved. And uh, stay safe. Wash your goddamn hands. Stop touching your face. Stay the fuck home. All that sort of thing. Uh, but I'll be back when the time's right, guys. And uh, I, I do have a huge backlog of videos at this time anyway. So I'll upload this one first and you'll see another few trickle in every now and then. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. As always, have a great night, and uh, see you next time.